Hello, my name is Mary Daniels, um, aka The Life Chef, and today I'm going to share some tips and key ingredients on how to really manage and grow and develop your business. So I really want to sort of flip this on its head because networking doesn't need to be as scary or as daunting um, as sometimes we think it's going to be. First things first is make sure you have up-to-date business cards and they have the correct contact information on them. The amount of times I've been to a business event and somebody's given me a card where they've crossed out their telephone number and told me that the number has changed, it's really unprofessional. So make sure that your card has not only your landline number but also a mobile number on it and an email address and website would be would absolutely perfect. So make sure that you're coming prepared so that people are interested in contacting you, you can just give them a card. Make sure that you're also addressed appropriately for the event that you're going to. It says a lot about you and your business and the way that you look and show up. So if you're going to some sort of business function where it's going to be suits and um, tie, whatever, make sure that you're dressed, dressed appropriately, not in jeans and t-shirt or your sort of weekend clothing. Make sure you've also worked out what you're going to say about your business. If you're not passionate, why should anybody else buy into it? So put some energy into it. Think of what would be something catchy that people would you know, basically latch onto and remember. At business networking events, you'll find that you're talking to a lot of people. So you really want to say something that stands out um, and something that makes the person think, you know, I really should check them out a lot further. Don't view people as strangers as well. That's something that can really get the nerves going. We walk into a room and we think, gosh, this is full of strangers, I don't know anybody. What you've got to remember is before you met your friends, at some point in your life, they were also a stranger. And something happened where you connected or you engaged with them, you possibly found out you had a lot in common, and it then turned into a friendship, whether it was a working relationship, or actually a friend that you hang out with quite a lot. So instead of viewing people as strangers, why not walk into a room and view people as possible connections, you know, a new friendship, an exciting journey, and take that energy towards every person that you go and engage with, because they might be feeling exactly the same way that you are. So see them in a really warm, friendly light, and it will make it a lot easier. Also, get clear on what information you want to actually share at this networking event. You know, if you have a product and it's been you know, patented or whatever, some people might not want to know that kind of information. So leave all of that to one side and only share the stuff that's actually interesting and exciting. And last but not least, enjoy it. You, know, you want to be relaxed. You want people to feel that you're comfortable in your skin. And you know, even if you come away with just one new contact and you are networking on a regular event, you'll be surprised at how your business database can build. And sometimes it's not that one person that will be that essential, crucial lead. It might be that who they know and how their database can open up and really benefit your business. So don't discount anybody because it's not necessarily what they know. It might come down to who they know. So those are a few tips really on how to improve at business networking. So if you'd like any more advice on this subject, then please feel free to visit www.thelifechef.com and sign up for one of our free 30-minute taster sessions.